Good evening. Welcome back to the second segment of the Glasoff Gang. Our gang members this evening, Jim Tui, playwright, producer, and actor, Nani Darwish, modern-day freedom fighter and the author of the new book, The Devil We Don't Know, The Dark Side of Revolutions in the Middle East. And also with us is Evan Sayet, America's number one conservative comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thanks, Jamie. <clears throat> Nani Darwish, The Devil We Don't Know. A lot of the left and the liberal media were saying, oh, the Arab Spring, there's going to be democracy and freedom with all these revolutions. But yet, as you are showing, how can there be democracy when such a large population believes in stonings uh, of adulterers and, and killing of apostates, etc., that your argument is that something much more darker is coming into power there? Absolutely. You know, there's a cycle of revolutions in the Middle East that have been going on forever. Uh, I was a ba a born during the 52 revolution around that time, and there was an, uh, that revolution uh, kicked out the, the king of Egypt, and Gamal Abdel Nasser was the uh, 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 new president, and he spoke about freedom and democracy, and he changed the, the same dynamic. We're going to bring freedom. He went to Tahrir Square. And it was called Ismailia Square at that time, and he renamed it Tahrir. The word Tahrir means liberation mm -hmm. square. And it was the same scenario. We want freedom. We want democracy. And uh, he did a new constitution for, for Egypt. He uh, had a new flag. Yeah. Uh, hopes were high, and we had a dictator. We had uh, one of the darkest tyrannies of Egyptian modern history. And and the problem is that even with the best of um, intentions of a new leader, there is, there is an underground Islamic group in every Islamic country. And they hijack these movements. And it's not that just they, ha they, they, you know, they have to rule by Sharia. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Muslim head of state has his duties as a Muslim head of state set for him by Sharia. Right, right, right. And these duties, one of them is to uphold Sharia, rule by Sharia, and do jihad against non-Muslim countries. Okay, let me move on to the other two guests, but the Muslim Brotherhood is going to take over in Egypt, am I correct? Absolutely. Is and Obama a disaster for having helped bring them in? Uh, it was going to happen sooner or later, oh, but, okay. but Obama accelerated. Right. Are they our uh, allies? Who? <laughs> the Muslim Brotherhood. Of course not. No, of course, course not. not. We're their number one enemy. If he, well, why did he help him bring him in then? Because nah. because he's trying to pander to somebody who will never accept us. Evan? Well, if you look at the revolutions that Obama supported and didn't support, you see a pattern. He didn't support Iranian he did Right. He didn't support the overthrow of the mullahs and the ayatollahs in Iran, mm -hmm. but he called for the immediate overthrow of America's ally in Egypt. Mm -hmm. All right? So now that seems contradictory. It's not like he supports... Right. <clears throat> so Ayn Rand said there are no contradictions. If you think you found a contradiction, you have to question your supposition. Mm -hmm. If you suppose Obama is a friend of America, that he that he's a friend of freedom and democracy, then why didn't he support the overthrow Evan, of the Ayatollahs? What do we do with these movements then? We can, if we support the dictators, we appear to be supporting these terrible despots. But if we withdraw support from them, like happened with the Shah and with Mubarak, these worse demons come in, as Nani's the, saying. What, the, what, what's the answer but here? But the problem, the problem is... In the New York Times, there was an article a few months ago that says, "Who should be a, why why be why fear Sharia? We are trying to make peace, uh, accepting with people who uh, want to destroy those us. people, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. We are already say telling the world that there is okay. nothing wrong if they rule. Yeah, but there's very, something very telling, and then uh, there's something very telling, which is that. As the Arab Spring was going on, especially you know, as it was going from one place to another, if you watch CNN, if you watch MSNBC, if you watch NBC, if you watch, it, it was all so thrilling because democracy was finally going to come to these yeah. regions. Yeah. And Fox News had on people like like Pam Geller and uh, yeah. uh, and Robert Spencer and yeah. what, talk who warned that it was going to be likely the and they were called racist. And it's the same thing that happened with Khomeini. The CIA analysts, analysts and the and the liberals were saying Andrew he was a Young martyr. called Andrew Young called. Old Khomeini, uh, uh, yeah. some kind of saint. Yeah. Jim, mm. now what do you bring to this? You were once in Egypt. You want to bring some of your experiences into I was this? just there on a the tourist. I loved uh, Egypt. 
What do you love well, about I, I Egypt? Live, what I, I love about the pyramids. You're talking mm-hmm. about the ancient culture of Egypt, the, the civilization that they had. They ruled for 1,200 years. They were an advanced civilization for that time. They were more advanced than anybody. Did in you the see history. the Sphinx? Yeah. Okay, now what, cool. what do you think about what's happening there today and uh, the trouble that we're facing in terms of the Islamists and Muslim Brotherhood you don't, in his non You don't know who we're backing. You, you just don't know. Yeah, I mean, no. who is the United States backing to go to get into power there? Mm-hmm. It's a flip-flop situation. We flip our hand constantly. We you know, we were backing the Kurds over in Iran, and all of a sudden we flipped onto them. We let them you all die in, Iraq, in the woods. In Iraq. In, in Iraq, and yeah. we let them all die in the marshes and stuff. I mean, we did the same thing we with the Bay of Pigs. I mean, it's, it's all about the... Did you anybody. support Bush's invasion of Iraq? Yeah, I supported it, sure. I okay, would. now you have some military background in terms of your family. Tell us for very quickly about your dad. My, fa- my father was a Silver Star winner. He rescued the Gaul's daughter in World War II, and he was one of the first soldiers to uh, free Auschwitz. And so... You have some experience with your family, etc. In terms of your military understanding, what does America do? My military do? understanding, I was against Vietnam. I didn't think we should have been there. I protested against Vietnam, and I did not want to go there at all. So I guess I was the black sheep of the family there. Okay, so Jim, <laughs> but so what do you think we do in, in, in this terrible situation that Nani is describing? In, in Egypt here? Yeah, and in the Middle East well, in you, general. You really don't pieces. know who we're backing. I mean, one person leaves power and another person comes in there and we back them as, uh, uh, you know, is it worse than what was there? Well, what do you recommend that we do? I don't know. I'm not the president. We shouldn't do much. You just sh- think we lay hands off? We shouldn't do much because it yeah, doesn't matter whoever the leader will be. If that leader doesn't, at the end, go by what the Islamists tell him to do, it will be another Mubarak all over again. So right, it, but at least Mubarak kept the peace yeah. with with with, with yeah, Israel. Exactly. The Muslim Brotherhood's not going to keep the peace with Israel. Yeah, um, at least he kept the. Uh, and the reason they they took him out was because he was keeping the peace. That's with right. Israel. Right. They they want they want a situation where there's violence with Israel. They are already itching. To, to do, to go Not into to kill conflict. The infidel. To com- go into conflict with Israel. Okay, look. Jim, is Israel going to attack Iran to take out their nuclear capability? Mm. Do you think that that's going to happen? It's, it started already. They, they've started killing uh, scientists. You know, the hitmen are killing scientists out do there. You, you know, these America- scientists are disappearing. You, if you want to stop and you don't want to escalate it, so so you take out a couple scientists here and there to prevent them from going making Wait. a nuclear weapon. If I think if they make a nuclear weapon, I think we'll have trouble over there, right? You have to stop them before before they make it. If they, are you, you disappointed in Obama that he's not supporting Israel on this? It appears that Obama doesn't want Israel to attack Iran. He can't say to go in there and do that because he he's the world leader mm-hmm. here. He can't say and do that. You know, it, uh, if Israel, Israel does attack Iran, it would have your support. I would think that if they if they're building a nuclear weapon and you have extreme and you have extreme proof that they have nuclear weapon capability. Then yes, I you would have my support. Yeah, because they but have, what happened with Saddam Hussein? We started a whole war there and said this guy had nuclear weapons. He didn't have nothing. He, nothing. He shipped them to, to Syria. He didn't he have should. anything. Come he on. Them to Syria. Okay, Evan. Is that about? Um, what's the question, Jamie? The the WMDs seem to have disappeared. You right? know, but first, he once first, had of, all, them, but he first, yeah. first of all, WMD was one of thirty of, reasons that yeah. the United States it's not Senate the main they gave for our liberating the Iraqi people. Saddam Hussein had invaded Iran and invaded Kuwait, bombed Saudi Arabia, and bombed Israel. Right. Committed it's atrocities. Well, what do you think about this whole Iran thing? Are, is, does it worry you? Even if Israel attacks, well, if, what will if be the Iran gets uh, gets the bomb they're going to use it. Because Muslims don't think in terms of nations. They think in terms of the world of Islam versus uh, uh, not Islam. You think that uh, Ahmadinejad will really send... Ahmadinejad has said point blank that this is a deal he's willing to take because if he can destroy Israel, he destroys half the world's Jews. If in retaliation they destroy Iran, they've destroyed point what? No, the, the, about will, can think. they effectively do this? Is it possible? I don't to know get the technical. Okay. But isn't it is starting World War Three? I mean, are we starting World War Three here? Well, I mean, let's look at the situation. If we have do we to, want we to start World War Three? 
Why? You want to stop World War III? I'd rather that you push the button. I'd you rather, kill zillions of people. I'd rather Another ra- idiot. Are you going to let somebody speak or just keep yelling? I'm just saying Because I'd, I'd, I'd rather have World War III than walk into the ovens. Right. You'd, you'd rather walk into the ovens. Instead of make people. peace. That's, that's what you can do. You can just go and make peace. Wait a minute. That's what I'm going to do. It's my turn now. That's not very nice. Okay. I don't think Israel wants to... Israel don't want to escalate a war. Yeah. I don't think I don't, so. They just want, they want to be exploded. Do that guy's like him, he will. Let, let Nani talk. A surgical attack on the sites. Right. Which is not. Exactly. And that's, that, frankly, if they can do it and surgically remove those uh, sites of the nuclear. Of course, they, can. they, they got can't. smart bombs. Okay, they they got smart bombs. Yeah, Some smart bombs will know where it is. You want to apologize to Jim for saying know. he's an idiot? No, I said liberals are idiots. Oh, liberals are liberals idiots. Liberals are idiots. I'm not a liberal. Okay. Were you That's hurt by something? Not, Evan not, said? Like he no. couldn't hurt me if I get him. I got Teflon. Okay, thank you very much. We'll be back. <laughs> that causes <with> cancer. <laughs> the devil we don't know by Nani Darwish. Buy it to understand what's going on in the Middle East today, and we'll be back tomorrow evening to discuss the Republican presidential race with our three wise men and wise women. Join us tomorrow evening.